Hello friends, welcome to tutorial days and in this video I am going to start a series called HTML. So in this video tutorial I will be discussing about what is HTML and how you can step by step create uh, your own simple websites. After this we will also discuss about CSS but first let's discuss about HTML and step by step I will show you how you can create your website or web pages. So the first question is what is HTML? HTML is a markup language which is used for creating simple websites. With the HTML you can create simple static websites but if you want to develop a complex website dynamic website then you need to blend other programming language for example ASP.NET, PHP uh, or such uh, other programming languages you can blend you can mix and you can create complex website but with the help of only HTML you can create simple websites now when you learn any programming language then the first question which comes into our mind is that what is the benefit of learning this unless we know the benefit we don't concentrate on learning any programming language so here we will know that why we need to learn this HTML the first thing is HTML is the root language of websites if you see any website let me show you I'm going to open here let's open here Microsoft website so let's go to its official website also let's open Google and then we are opening Facebook here I'm loading into Facebook that's why I'm going to open in another browser so this is uh, Facebook okay so as you know these are the top websites of the world Facebook Twitter also let's open here so these are few of important websites of the world well-known websites of the world so let's go to here and then check view page source if you go to the top then you can see that it starts from HTML let me zoom it so that you can see it clearly you can see this starts from doc type HTML that means that means any website and this Twitter is, is uh, you know a complex website but still it is using HTML the end user is served the HTML only now let's go to Facebook and same let's go here view page source and if you go then you can see this also starts from doc type HTML now let's go to Microsoft and check this website as well so right click here here and then view page source and guys you can see this one is also this one is also uh, HTML and you open any website you will see that it starts from HTML so now you might have understood that how important this website is this HTML is guys Facebook is using uh, you know react JS uh, as a programming language Twitter is also some other programming language Microsoft is using ASP.NET but still this HTML is used in all these top websites not only this if you open amazon.in.com whatever so this website is generally built using python you can see top type HTML right so guys now you, you might have understood that this is very very important if you want to a website designer or website developer or digital marketer so let's get back here so if you want to be front-end developer full stack developer or digital market here learning HTML is a must so guys concentrate and and watch this complete video so that step by step you will know how you can create simple websites and later you can also create complex websites once this is the foundation this is the basis of any uh, developer or full stack developer front-end developer or digital market here so this is important as you might have seen that top level website is built using HTML as a core language now HTML is built using two words this is H HT and then ML 
so this stands for hypertext and then markup language hypertext and then markup language so th there are two terms here so we will know that what is hypertext let me show you what is hypertext now let's open any one of the websites which we are just seeing here so this is called hypertext so when you take your mouse when you take your a cursor to any link then this is called hypertext here this is called hypertext so when it turns into hand you can see the symbol so these are called hypertext hypertext here this is wherever there is a link this is called hypertext okay so one thing is clear that whenever there is a link and there is a text to go into that link then that is called hypertext and the next thing is markup language so html is called is html is not a full fledged programming language for example c c++ java javascript these are full fledged programming language but html is a just markup language that means what you can design your website for example if you can provide color you can increase the font size you can uh, you know uh, style provide styling and uh, you can uh, tidy up the website so these kind of markups using the tags okay using the tags we can design different type of websites so that is why it is called markup language now let's see a brief history of html html was invented by t berners lee remember this is this guy is still alive he has not died yet you know in 1994 at CERN laboratory for sending and receiving files remember this html was invented was created for his own laboratory not for public purpose he needed to send files and receive from one computer to another computer so that is why he had created this html for his personal office purpose for for CERN laboratory but later this was released for public purpose as well. so you can understand that this guy this guy is the real inventor of this worldwide wave now let's understand html tags the code inside this angular bracket so whatever code we write in this this uh, angular bracket are called tags remember you cannot write with your own will there are predefined tags for example title tag when we write here title that means this is called title if you write here body then that is body tag you will learn this further you uh, don't be confused here or you uh, don't be uh, you know uh, nervous okay so what is this i'm unable to understand in further videos i will explain that how we will be using this so the only thing which you need to remember at this point of time is that so whatever a uh, code we write here inside this angular bracket that is called tags guys i have tried to make this video as simple as possible so that you can understand the fundamental of html later you can create a complex website once you get to know these basic things now we have known that what is tag we will further know that what uh, how many types of uh, tags are there so basically there are two types of tags one is pair tags and another one is non pair tags so when there is closing and opening you can see here there is this is called opening tag okay and this one is called closing tag so when you provide forward slash the same these two are same as you can see but the only difference is here we are providing here forward slash so this is called closing tag and this is called opening tag okay this one is opening tag and this one is closing tag so when you provide just forward slash just before this angular bracket then this becomes closing tag and now the second one is so this one is called pair tags as you know the pair tags means there is always pair two right now non pair tags so when there is opening but there is no closing okay there is only single tag in that case it is called non pair tag for example br we will be using all the tags don't worry at this point of time you are unable to understand but at least you understand this point of time that there are two kinds of uh, tags here the pair tags which has opening as well as closing tags and non pair tags has only opening but no closing tag so 
this kind of tags are called BR, HR, IMGSRC. These are non paired tags which we will be using in this video ahead. Now, before we go into the practical, uh, we should understand one more thing that what is attributes and properties. So, here this is tag, this H1, this one is a tag, and this align align each attribute okay and when we provide here some properties so this one is called property this one is tag predefined tag h1 tag which we will be using later and this align tag this align is called uh, attribute and this one is called property so whenever you see then you understand that okay so this is attribute and this one is uh, properties so guys now much theory now the time is to create uh, and uh, you know start using the code so the first thing uh, we will be uh, you know creating a very simple web page in this uh, section so let's start the code the, but before we proceed ahead the question is which editor text editor we should use okay so uh, we will be using any of the text editor any of these so this one is sublime text this and this one is uh, visual code studio and both of these are totally free we can download and use it so out of these two i would strongly recommend you to use this one first because this is very lightweight so even your computer is of low configuration this will run fast but this one is also very good particularly this one is good for javascript based uh, uh, coding this one is for normal you can use for javascript based as well as html so in this tutorial uh, i'll be using this sublime text so i will show you how you can download any of these from internet and how you can start using this okay so let's go to google here and type here sublime text download so you can download from here just you need to click on download and then you can go here and as per your computer you can download any one of these so normally nowadays the computer is of 64 bits so this one is pro portable version and this one is exe version and this one is so depending upon your operating system for example OS X uh, then Windows Windows 64 so use this one is for portable version and this one is also for portable so you can use this one click on this one i clicked on this one okay it has started downloading once this is downloaded then double click on this and you install in my case this one is guys already installed so what i will do yes let me show you double click on this and then click on yes then the setup will start let's can see two instances started so next 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 and then successfully it will get get installed after that what you need to do you go to here search and then search sublime you can see it's already installed in my case that's why it just opened so this is the sublime text editor now go to file and create new so what we'll do we'll start writing the code from here and then we will start this tag and then shift press and press one okay so this is exclamation mark and then doc type html remember this syntax is for html5 by the time this video is recorded html5 is currently going on that's why we will be using this one doctor html5 and then here let's close the tag so remember i had mentioned before that there are two types of tag one is starting tag and closing tag so this one is starting tag and this one is closing tag this will start in the first and it will uh, close in the end now, after this we will write here head tag and then head close so these one are pair tags 
inside head we will type here title title and then title tag close you guys these are called tags there are predefined tags here so we will write welcome to welcome to my first web page okay now we will save it so go to file and then save or control s whatever you uh, consider better so what i'll do i'll create here one folder we will create here one folder called html let's do one thing let's create i'll create in my f drive rather so i name it as html inside this what i'll do i'll write here first dot html remember this extension is compulsory the first name in this is extension okay so in extension either you can you use html or just htm but in most of the cases normally we use html so this name can be anything first name first last whatever name you want to uh, give you can give this name but here html will compulsory and then click on save okay so there are two ways you can open and test this one but before that let's go ahead and then write here body and then body close okay so whatever code we will be writing for displaying purpose we will be writing here only for example we will write here h1 tag this which is called heading tag so this is starting and this one is closing here we will write same thing welcome to my website okay so this is the very basic tag which you need to understand let me explain once again this is starting tag and this one is closing tag in html there is a rule which starts first closes last and here this head and this head is closing here inside this this is nested tag we call it nested tag okay so uh, the difference is this is head and just we have provided here forward slash so that means what this is closing tag similarly this one is starting tag and here is closing tag so this one is inside head the title tag is inside head and then body starts here body ends here inside that we have written here we have tagged here h1 tag and h1 closing inside that we have written text now this is the time to test how does it look like so the easiest way to test it just right click on this and open in browser and you can see the result here so guys there are two things if you compare with this code then you can understand that what is happening here let's do one thing let's compare that, that what is doing what okay so output which the user will see will see this one only and where is this code this one is here the title tag in browser title this one is the browser title and this one is here whatever you have written here this is displaying here right so now welcome to my website i am learning suppose i now added this line of code so what you need to do just control s or simply click here save and then what we will do refresh it and you can see the next tag came here after refresh refreshing this one you can see here so we are using here heading tags in heading tags we have already used this h1 tag so apart from that you can use h2 h3 h5 and up to h6 let me show you how if you go here and then just copy paste this one here below and then just name it that as h1 h2 okay h2 tags that's and then we will write here this is this is second heading right now refresh it and you can see written here second heading as you can see this one is bigger and this one is smaller so this way you can write up to six for example last you will write here h6 starting and h6 so this is smallest text now 
refresh it and you can see this is very small okay so starting from h1 you can use h2 h3 h4 h4 is for, h for your requirement now you might be wondering if i want to change the color of this then how we can do that remember we will be changing the color font size etc uh, through css which will follow after this video but in html4 we used to directly write here font font then not font actually we will be writing style then color red but this css we will cover in later uh, part of this video or in the next video so for just showing purpose i'm just showing you how you can change the color you can see you can we can change the color but we will learn this in css section so we are not going to focus on this in the next chapter we will see how to use paragraph tags okay in this chapter we will discuss about paragraph tags we have already seen how the h1 h2 h3 h4 etc tags works in this uh, section i will show you how to use paragraph tags so for paragraph tags simply we will be using this p tag starting and p tag close starting and close like this so i will show you practical example let's go here and just will copy the text from here this is one paragraph so what we will do yeah and in html the comment is like this okay so whatever part you want to hide then you can hide comment like this okay so this one will not display if you want to check then refresh and then you can see this if you check into the view source section then you can see but it is hidden commented okay so browser doesn't pass that so if you want to don't want to delete but keep for the time being any section in that case you can use here paragraph tag now we will use paragraph tag so this is one of the paragraphs so just we will apply here uh, p tag and then p closing okay now once again just copy the same thing below and see what happens there will be some space between these two so refresh it and you can see there is spacing between these two okay so this is where if you want to uh, show anywhere and in practical life in practical projects you will be using a lot of paragraphs okay so this is one of the important uh, tag in html which you will be using using paragraph tag it takes some paragraphs some spacing so that's the use of paragraph now in this section we will see how to insert image into our html document as you know without image the page is boring and as you know that one image uh, is equal to thousand of words so of course without image your website or web page cannot look good so we will know in this section how to insert image into our web page or website so let's see the practical job let's go here and once again we will comment this just we'll cut it here and paste so that the whole section is commented in the top i will use image tag so for image tag what you need to do ing src equals to and this one is uh not pair tag non pair tag is non pair tag as you know then in non pair tag we don't have closing tag so it is not like this okay simply so we will write here the image name so let's do one thing let's go here and just download flow okay mm, take any one of these just type right click and it's too small Let's take any bigger one. This is Pinterest. Oh, 
ओके सो Save as. We will keep this inside our HTML folder. So our project folder is here, HTML, and here we will name it as Flower. So the extension is JPG, as you can see, Flower. Okay. Now let's go to our uh here so we will write here flower dot jpg and now let's check into the browser so guys you can see the image has come and it, if you check in, inside the folder then i will go here and then html where is that yeah this is our file name flower okay so go here and then you can see this is the image now you can uh, write here some attribute like uh, um, height 100 and then width 100 so this is height and width now let's try how does it look like let's go here and refresh you can see this is the size height and width we have provided that is why you can provide here one more uh, tag title okay so this is flower you can write here now guys refresh it and then outwardly it won't show anything but if you place mouse here then you can see this this is like tooltip so this way you can insert image into your html document with the CSS, you can have more control in further videos. I will be showing you how to control the images uh, through CSS as well. But as I have told you, this is basic uh, understanding of HTML. So, so up to here, the inserting uh, image, uh, how to insert image into the HTML document. So that's enough for understanding. And remember one thing. The image extension is very important. Sometimes what happens, there are two things. First thing is that your image should be in the directory here, in the same directory where your file is. This is the first condition. And the second condition is that you need to check here the extension. In case sometimes in some computer it doesn't show extension. In that case, what you do, right click on this and then properties. Click on properties and then you can see the extension here. You can just copy from here. So directly you can uh, take with extension as well like this okay so this way you can insert the image into your document so once again let's uh, just comment it and then we will move further we will discuss about hyperlinks and hyperlink is one of the very important part of html and if you remember i had discussed about ht and ml markup language and hypertext so because of this it is called hypertext markup language so we will so we will check that how we can create this hyperlink so let's go practical example but before that let's uh, check here for hyperlink this is called anchor text this is called anchor uh, and this one is called actually hypertext this one hypertext okay and here it starts from a and closes a okay and in between we have to provide here the path where after clicking where it will go so i will show you with example then you will understand it better so this is our page let's do one thing mm let's create a new fresh page delete everything from here and we will name it as let's create another folder inside this we will name it as college or courses okay inside this course set i will first index.html right so here 
you will write name of few courses for example first a h r e f equals to a close a close you will write here um, html okay and then uh, html dot html this is the course name actually that's why this is the name and this is one is extension now we can put here br tag for line break now, now just let's copy paste second third fourth we are going to create these three pages four pages this one two three and finally four so we'll name it as css here as well css and then here javascript and here as well javascript and finally we'll bootstrap bootstrap and then here bootstrap okay so we have four courses here right now if we open it into the browser then we can see these are called hyperlinks okay so when you click on this html then it so file not found because we need to create this html dot html file so let's do one thing uh, just let's copy these whole things and control n that means new and paste and then save it as and we can write here html dot html so this in this page what we will do we will write here h1 tag and we will name it as we will name it as welcome to to html page okay and here we will write one more thing h r e f uh, index dot html so that user can go back so we'll write here uh, back to home page right okay now once again refresh it and check so we have finally created this file so it is going there welcome to html page now back to home page that means once again we came back here if you click here then we come here if you click css then of course we have not created that is why it won't show anything there now control a control c and then let's create another file called css css.html now welcome to css page and then here index it as it is let's make it as it is now refresh here and you can see if you click on css then welcome to css page and back to home so it goes back to home similarly we will create other two pages also so the remaining one as one sir css let's close it and then javascript and bootstrap okay so let's copy this once again and let's create a file called javascript javascript let's remove everything here and once again h1 tag welcome to javascript page okay and back to home so a h r e f equals to back to home page here index down html let's create one another page called bootstrap bootstrap so bootstrap dot html now we have created this page as well so welcome to bootstrap we will name it as bootstrap so guys all the pages is successfully created now let's click here and go to so if you click on any of the pages you can go to that particular page and if you click on back to this page 
then we can go back so this is the simple example of hyperlink and of course if you want to tidy up you can provide here images and you can write more text and all that but the concept is same okay so now one more thing which is important i would like to show you in this hyperlink section that how we can link same page into certain sections of the page of a page so let's show you, let's me show you just copy it and then paste here and then uh, let's create i will name it as same dot html okay all right so now here what we will do let's create sections so we have index no? we will just copy rather this one okay so what is the purpose of this one is that we will write different section for example this is p tag and then inside p the description for example the question here is what is html normally this is used for faqs faqs or such thing when you want to link uh, in any specific uh, section of your same page so here html is a marker language okay and now here what we will do no need to write like this so simply just remove everything and put here hashtag and then write html okay and here we need to provide id html so there is a link between these two there are two important things first you need to provide here hashtag and then this html tag so whatever name you will put here same name you have to put here as well so that it will identify it will, it will recognize okay now uh, let's create other pages other sections as well for example this one is uh, javascript sorry css so hash and css okay remember we are uh, linking to the same page so what is css right here css is a simple text file now here as well we need to provide css the same thing will be this css and this css now uh, javascript okay so put here as javascript what is javascript so now let's create this one as well bootstrap what is bootstrap what is bootstrap what is css right so we need to create two more sections so this one is simple one line but there can be an example where it will have large content okay so it will be bootstrap and here will be javascript so what we are doing we are linking to the same page now let's open this page into the browser and see when we click what is happening actually this is not a long page that is why you you are not seeing any difference but here you can see it is changing right okay to put this into accents what we will do let's put here br tag okay br then br br okay, let's copy this okay 
suppose the content is below here like this okay and uh, let's do one thing this content is here once again after this there is blank there is some spacing and there is some spacing like this okay so the answer of this one is here when you click on here then directly you will be are taken to bootstrap section here the last one actually we didn't change its name so this one is bootstrap and the above one was javascript right javascript so guys now if you refresh then if i click on this then it takes me to this one when i click on javascript it shows me javascript so guys you can see you can link any web page into the same page using this technique so the previous one was going from jumping from one page to another page and in this example you are jumping into the same page but different section so guys that's it in this uh, hypertext uh, section or hyperlink section so hope you understand and in the next chapter we will see further hello friends so in this section we are going to see a uh, list so here there are mainly three types of list an ordered list order list and description list this one is rarely used in most of the cases you will be using this ul first and secondly you will be using this ordered list or ol and definition list it hardly used but i will show you in this example so let's get back to our coding section in editor and you will see one by one okay let's get back here what we will do just close this all we will keep any one of these right let's go here and we don't have any doc type html and then html approach in here head head close and finally so it is getting saved html we will name it as list dot html right now Doc type HTML and then here head and then title title close welcome to list and here body and body closed and finally here we will be writing list so let's do one thing let's open our existing page better let's do one thing we had created this course now we will be using in this one only so open it into sublime text so rather we will be using in the same one so you will understand it better what we will do let's remove this one yeah ul here we will provide ul and in that case there will be no requirement of vr tag okay ul and then ul closed on order list on order list and finally let's remove this this one two three i will also remove we will have only here okay now li not ul close 
and here will be L I and closing will be L I here. This is most used tag. Okay, while you creating menu etc. List and then list and list and here list 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 we are close this opening closing opening closing opening closing now let's check this how does it look like so guys now it looks like this but these are here you can see circle so this way this is called unordered list because there is no any numbering one two three four or some roman one two three four it is not like that unordered list you can see here and guys and guys here you can provide type also so we'll write here type and then square if you refresh it here let it go refresh it then you can see this is square right square so and then if you write here by default this is circle okay circle and here disk there are three mainly if you put here disk then sorry by default is disk actually and you can use circle as well as you can use uh, square so this is uh, an order list In, inside our order list you can uh, provide nested list as well so inside this li once again we can start here ul and ul and then li once again li li closed so this way here uh, topic one topic one topic two and topic three okay there are three topics so now how it will look like if you refresh then guys you can see you can create this nested tag nested list so once again if you want to uh, put and as you can see one more thing in this one we have taken disk right and automatically in the nested one it takes here uh, circle so this way once again if you want to create further sub uh, nested uh, list then again here you can write here un so this way guys you can create nested uh, here so guys this was an order list see how to use un for order list okay so let me show you here using order list so let's do one thing in the parent uh, container we will have this ul and here in this one we will use ol okay that is order list order list and here order list so here right click and then you can see number has came here one two three so that is why it is called ordered list because it is it, this shows in order way right so here if you put type type uh, like this okay so if you refresh and check here then it will show you roman order list if you put here uh, capital then it will show you this one like this if you put here uh, a then it will show you order list in ABCD if you put here capital then it will show you capital order list ABCD so guys you can see that 
that is why it is called order list because it is showing in order way but this in this one ul on order list there is no any listing here only this bullet point uh, shows here so that is difference between ordered and unordered list so ul is unordered list and this one is ordered list so hope you uh, understand difference between ordered and unordered list and now finally this is example of dl and dl so how does it uh, how does it work first it will start from dl and then it will end dl definition list okay and dt so this is heading this dt and under this dt there are two sub and again here is dt and under this this is dd okay so this way if you write and see output then it will show you something like this here arts if you compare here so this is arts so whatever is inside dt so it will be heading arts then under this there are two history geography right so here is dd inside this dd again we will start from dt so it will show you like this so if you want to show simply like this structure but this can be achieved also through ULLI, so there is no need of this. But anyway, if you want to use this DD and DL and DT, in that way, you can use this one also. So guys, that was uh, order, an order list, order list and a definition list for DL. Now, welcome to uh, this section. And in this chapter, we are going to discuss about HTML tables. Okay. Table is one of the very important and one of the oldest tags which is still used and that it's not going to be obsolete in uh, future also. So this one is very important. Uh, uh, you can use table for displaying the data in tabular format. So I will show you that how you can create a tabular data. So let's uh, see in a practical example. Let's create a new page. So control C, control N, control V, and here we will uh, name it H table dot HTML. Okay. Now let's delete everything from here. We will just keep body to body. So, here start from table and it ends from table and then tr and then tr and then inside tr we need to write here td again td close and here i will put just a so now let's see in browser it will just show you a now we will proceed ahead and we will keep it here one more data b and now refresh you can see it is displaying b so to understand this how table works let's put here border we will put here simply let's do one thing style border one px solid and red okay now refresh the page and check there is something wrong there will be no gap between one and px actually it be like this that's why it's not displaying here refresh and you can see it is displaying very small one okay now put here width with 100 percent okay now it will show you 100 percent if you don't want to put 100 percent in percentage then you can put here fixed width also for example 800 px it will show you 800 px width now if i directly put here border let's do one thing I will just remove this to understand it better uh, border directly if I put here border 1 then it will display you like this this is the border okay so here 
with 800 that means automatically it will take 800 pm so guys now you can see there is division between this so to understand it better that what is tr and td this whole is table okay and this one is tr row tr tr start here this first one is tr start and this one is tr close sorry tr close so first line this first line whole line is tr starting and the last one is tr closing and then we have two td inside one tr right so this is the section a is td and section 2 which is b is td2 so if you compare here with this code then you will understand better if you check here let me explain here this whole body is table okay this is table and then we have put here tr so one line the above line is tr this one is your tr this one and here tr is closing so this below line this one is tr now we have two tds one a and b right so this one section is one td and this b is second td right so this is the whole structure and remember one cell this box this is box inside this is called cell cell okay the second box is called cell this one both are cells okay hope you understand so whatever data we write we write inside cell here this is called cell now if you want to put here third box say c then you can put like this if I save here and refresh, you can see the box is, has come C. Now, if you want to put here heading, for example, uh, let's create here mark sheet, okay? So, name and then uh, match, match in here English and uh, Let's put here two more subjects in the in here science like this okay now if you check then you can see these are the headings okay inside this below this we would like to show here numbers so what we do just copy this whole thing and paste below so now name here we Rajesh maths 90 English there is spelling mistake English here will be 80 Hindi 70 science 70 77 okay now refresh it and you will see the result so as you can see it's corresponding it is displaying here name rajesh max this 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 so guys this way you can create tabular data now if you want to in the top if you want to display uh, one uh, row here heading okay you will create one heading here and insert this in the first row so insert this heading what we will do uh, td and then in here what we will do we will write mark sheet mark sheet okay now if you refresh and check then how it will do you can see this is displaying one sided okay this is displaying one sided we want to display it in the middle of the screen so what we will do uh, here we will apply cold spam why it is displaying the left side because uh, there are 
one two three four six columns right so what you will have to write here cold span cold span six there are total six columns so you need to write here cold span so that so that's where you will be using cold span so refresh it and you can see the whole section this whole section is now come now if you want to display in the in the middle then you can write a line center actually here we will be using uh, css but since we have not started css yet so there is html inbuilt tag the inbuilt uh, attribute through which you can align it okay and now we will put here this one in h2 tag so that it will look bigger so guys this way you can create tabular data okay and now there are few more things which, which you would like to know for space so for example cell spacing first one is cell padding cell padding 10 if i put here cell padding to 10 then you will see what happens you can see there is padding inside that means inside each box inside each box 10 is taking from all sides 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 that means 10 padding is taking inside each cell here 10 then here 10 here 10 here 10 so this applies to all the rows all the cells now and also in this one now if i put here cell spacing cell spacing so it will be between two cells space between two cells for example i'm putting here five and if you refresh then you can see yes so these are cell spacing the cell as you know this is called cell one cell this is called one cell so this is the spacing five 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 right so the difference between pad, cell padding and cell spacing is that padding each inside box and cell spacing each outside box that means border between two cells cell spacing is between two cells okay if you put here 10 then it will be more visible and clear <coughs> guys you can see here 10 is taking from all side 10 is taking from all side. so this is cell this is difference between cell padding and cell space and here as well we will put here a line not class a line center refresh it so guys you can see the table came in middle of the screen so that's it in this chapter in this table hope you understand uh, in the next chapter we will be uh, talking about discussing about we will be using table only and inside the table we will be using forms so let's check the next chapter forms which is also very very important so guys this is the sample form which we will be using practically so what happens here it starts from form and it closes from form inside form you can provide here form name so whatever name you want to put you can put here and then action for the timing we will put blank if you don't understand at this point of time what is action don't worry at all if you are a full stack developer then you will understand better because while you will be submitting the data this the data is uh, submitted through action and where uh, the data action will be you will understand that point of time but for the time being uh, you can understand this is one of the uh, attribute of this okay and then uh, there is method that how data will be uh, posted there are two main methods there are two primarily two methods one is post and second one is get at this point of time you don't have to worry at all what is get and post you don't need to bother about that but you just understand that these attributes are written inside the form and even you for the time being if you are not writing this method action and name then it's okay but at least you understand that okay these attributes are uh, used inside the form okay so actually how the data will be submitted so this is the method actually okay and next we will be using here input type so let's see practically Thing. let's copy this and paste and name it as table.html 
no not table actually form form dot html now what we will do let's delete from here to here okay and uh, we just keep it cell padding cell spacing let's center it will fine all right now we will start the form above the table okay and we will close the form below the table and now inside this let's start tr and then tr close inside tr we will have two tds one td and second td in the first td we will write here first name okay and here in the second td we will write here input input type text name equal to f name there should be no space like this in the label it will be like this but when you providing name then you can provide name f or first name underscore so whatever but there will be no space between these so input type now let's see how does it look like so open into the browser and guys you can see this is the first name and here you can write something now so that is the main thing and here let's do one thing once again we will uh, give it some name so td and td and here uh, let's and here what we will do we will write registration form okay and if you open here then it will look like this so once again we will have to put here uh, so here we will put let's put it b tag that is bold in here b tag and also align align center so that it will appear in the center so guys this is registration form and yes one more thing what we need to do we need to provide here whole span whole span 2 because there are two columns corresponding to this that is why we have to put here class whole span here whole span not class refresh and yes now you can see this one is coming in the center now so this is first name and then whatever first name will be we will be writing here okay now let's go to uh, here and then just copy from tr to tr from tr to tr will be copying and then just paste here below so we will name it last name last name and then input type text will be same and then here l name or last name whatever name you want to put you can put here and then just copy once again and we will put here email okay email so here will be input type email in this case input type will be email not text okay it's a small actually it will be email and then name of course email and the next will be password okay so just copy and paste here below and then there will be password and type will be in this case password remember all will be in small case not capital here password name type equal to password and name will be also password now if you refresh it then you can see first name last name e email password okay if you type inside the password section then you can see it will display like this which you can toggle from here and then email will be the email field but it will uh, there is no difference in uh, appearance this one and this one will look all the same but while typing password will look like this now uh, whatever other field you want to put here for example uh, now 
uh, what we will do uh, after password you can put mobile number or when so now we will uh, educational null qualification okay here we will put educational qualification so here will be checkbox user can select more than one boxes okay so here what we will do we will put here input type checkbox input type checkbox name equal to uh, 10th like this and before this we will write here 10th right so if you refresh then you can see something like this this question of qualification 10 which can be ticked here apart from that we will put here few more for example 10th 12th and then graduation Twelfth and graduate. Ten, twelve, then graduate, right? Okay. So here also graduate and twelfth here, right? Now, if we refresh, then you can see there are three options which can be either ten, twelve, and graduation all three can be selected for any one of these now we will uh, use this is called checkbox now we will use the radio button okay so just copy and paste once again this one below here and we will write here uh, gender so here what we'll do gender then here mail and then input type radio and name mail the name will be gender actually name gender and value mail just copy this one and paste below female radio gender and female one thing very important you should uh, keep in mind that name will be always same here in, in case of checkbox the name will be different for each one but in case of ready button the name will be same but value will be different okay so that's the main important thing refresh and then if you tick here you can see then it will be ticked any one of these not all as you can see anyone will be either male or female okay but in case of this one one can be 10th 12th and graduate as well so all three options so this one this one is checkbox and this one is radio button now uh, i will show you the address field that means text area so here i will write address and then here will be text area so call 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 so call them well let's see and rows okay name of course will be here address so why do we need this let me show you yeah in text field you cannot write multiple lines you can write only single line okay but in case of this one you can write multiple line for example like this so that is the main thing okay so in role section we will put it rather 100 then you can see guys oh not rows actually column will be 100 and rows will be maybe 10 or 5 6 8 whatever so it will be like this all 
okay so for multiple uh, uh, writing multiple line writing we need to use text area and finally we will use one more and that is country and inside country we will have drop down list okay so we need to write here select and then select inside this option option and option close here so india here refresh it this and just copy paste few more usa australia and australia Pakistan, china bangladesh etc okay so if you refresh now then you can see now the list is coming here for user okay so this way guys you have one text field second one is email third one is uh, password and fourth one is checkbox and gender and the text area and this select box and finally we will have submit button so let's create one tr here and then tr close and finally we will write here td and input type submit name equal to submit and value equal to submit that's it refresh and you can see guys this is submit button okay so we will keep it in the center so same way what we need to do call span to here call span to and then align center yeah like this so guys that's it in this video and i know the HTML itself is very vast and there is a lot of other tags also but this video will be sufficient for get going because you know I myself have been working on HTML for more than 20 years and I know that these are enough to get going and don't worry at all sometimes what happens students get worried okay so how I will remember all this code you don't have to remember in the next video in CSS video you will be repeating all these things so you don't have to learn by heart you know automatically you will be learning all these things so hope you like this video till you have not subscribed my channel then I strongly recommend to subscribe the channel so see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye